Hello, my lovelies. Jump on in and let's go for a ride down by the river. This is not the video I intended to upload this week. I was an idiot and forgot to record the primary audio for one of my segments. My secondary audio source was a wireless microphone and somehow or another I picked up some interference on it. It was not usable. So I have to go back and re-record that segment. However, I have promised that I am going to upload a video every Friday. This is my emergency backup video. Before we go any farther, I just want to say welcome to Cape Bonnie Country. Thank you so much for stopping by. This channel is not possible without viewer support, so please remember to like this video, subscribe and get notified, comment, and share with your friends and family. In my last video, I announced that I am pulling back from YouTube just a little bit. I am only going to upload on Fridays now. My Monday videos are canceled. You see, I'm a little socially awkward, and I am not comfortable in front of the camera yet. This causes a lot of awkward pauses and re-recording the same sentence 16 times before I feel that I have gotten it right. That also means that I have a lot of unusable footage that I have to sort through and edit together. Until I get a little more comfortable speaking in front of the camera, I am going to be spending way too much time in editing. I just need a little more practice. I want to tell all of you right now how much I appreciate your viewership and support. I have received several texts and emails asking me not to give up on my channel because I am helping people. Y'all don't even know how much that means to me. Because that is what I wanted to do from day one. I want to bring content into people's lives that gives them a little knowledge and helps them realize that they are not alone in this struggle called life. So I want to thank each and every one of you and let you know how much this truly means to me. Sometimes appreciation and apologies must go hand in hand. I owe my mother an apology. In my last video, I spoke on how times have changed. And I described myself as a latchkey kid. My mother took exception to that. Though I never intended it to come across this way, that doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is, my mother perceived it as an attack on her parenting skills. And for that, I am so truly sorry. Mom, I love you. I have no issues with the way you raised me. My mom would like you to know that when she first started with the United States Postal Service, she was a part-time substitute carrier, starting when I was just about to turn seven years old. She was a substitute, and that meant she only took the mail route on Saturdays, and whenever the regular carrier was sick or needed to go on vacation. She did not become a full-time carrier until I was almost 12 years old. So my sister and I were not left to fend for ourselves very often. By the time I was 12, my sister was 15. And we did not require the same level of supervision that younger children did. Between the ages of almost 7 and 12, we were very, very rarely left to fend for ourselves. And when we did, we had an elderly couple right next door to us, a family with children two doors down, and another family just across the street. We had neighborhood kids to play with. Their parents helped keep an eye on us. And we had somewhere to go if we needed anything. Our grandmother also lived three miles away she would randomly stop by to check on us. And there was hell to pay if she found us doing anything we shouldn't be doing. My sister and I were allowed to fend for ourselves because we could be trusted. 
Like most children, we did try to get away with stuff, but we did not attempt to do the truly dangerous or stupid things that we knew were expressly forbidden. We had freedom, and we also had accountability. Mom, I am truly sorry that I misrepresented how often we were left alone. Mom, you did an excellent job raising me. I could not have asked for a better mother if I had picked you out myself. I will take issue with anyone who dares to insult you and call you a bad mother because you weren't.